welcome to today's video. So as promised, I said that I would show you what I picked up from Primark when I went to the world's biggest store in Birmingham. If you didn't see my visit there, it is in my last video, my vlog with my sister. Uh, we went to Birmingham for a few days and uh, yeah, part of the reason was to visit this huge, big, amazing store, which apparently is the world's biggest store. And it is massive. It's a beautiful Primark store. Now, as you know, I have been trying not to buy as much, trying not to shop as much, but this was somewhere that I wanted to visit and it was somewhere that I wanted to maybe make a few purchases. I was gifted a voucher by the Primark team. So I'm gonna say that now, that all of this was bought with a voucher gifted from Primark and I'll mark everything in the description box as gifted as well. So yeah, I thought I would show you what I picked up. I tried to pick up um, things that I know I'm genuinely gonna wear. Quite a lot of casual stuff, because obviously, as you know, my style is quite casual. A bit of jewelry and a couple of other bits and bobs. So yeah, let's crack on with what is in this massive bag. So one of the first things is that obviously, I actually bought so much that I had to buy one of their reusable bags. But they now do these like kind of canvassy bags, which is really, really good. I know that their bags are paper anyway, which of course is recyclable. But actually these are really good and reusable and actually a lot stronger than the, um, the paper ones. Uh, I'm going to continue to use this to store like, I, I store a lot of my clothes. So like when it's summer, I store my winter clothes in bags like this and put them in the loft or in the cupboard. So that's what I'm going to use this for. So it will come in handy. I'm actually going to shift this down onto the floor so that I can get into it better. Uh, I'm also going to try everything on. I obviously tried it all on in store. I didn't film that as part of my vlog, even though we were in the jazziest uh, changing room, which if you haven't watched it, watch it with Bluetooth and music and everything. And I obviously didn't film that because I wanted to be able to show you guys um, the stuff once I purchased it and show you how it fits and stuff. So yeah, let's get cracking with what's in the bag. Okay, so the first things are, they're all t-shirts. I love t-shirts, I live in them. This is a new t-shirt, uh, which I've linked in the description box. Love this, um, it's not Primark. Um, but yeah, I love t-shirts. I buy quite a lot of them because I wear quite a lot of them. I like them layered under stuff, but I also like t-shirts with a cool little slogan for under a blazer or a jacket, whatever. So I picked up a few t-shirts in some uh, prints and colors. So the first one is just a basic stripe. And I know I've got a stripe one on now, but this is a different kind of stripe. Um, so one of the downsides was, um, if you watched my vlog, you'll have seen that I bought some cream jeans uh, from H&M the day before I went to the new Primark. So when, and I wore them on the day we went to the Primark and then everything I held up, I was like, oh, that looks so nice with cream jeans. Because of course, cream jeans go, they go with everything. Um, so I think that also then made me go, oh, this is nice and this would be an outfit and this would, that's partly the reason. So I picked up this basic striped tee. I bought it in a medium, so it is a little bit bigger because these tees are, I think, designed to be kind of more skin tight and I didn't want it to be skin tight. I wanted it to be loose like this. This is £3.50. Um, yeah, it's just from their basic t-shirt range. It's a little, um, I guess what you would call a crew neck with a um, basic stripe. But I think this will look really nice under a blazer with jeans. Um, yeah, it's just an easy to wear chuck on t-shirt. Yeah, 95% cotton. So yeah, a good little buy that. So that was the first thing. The second t-shirt is a coloured t-shirt. Now I am so into this colour at the moment. This is like, what do we call this, a pistachio-y green? Pistachio-y green t-shirt. Now I tried this on, when I tried it on, I actually tried on a small, which equates to a, I think an eight to 10 or a, t a 10 to 12. And it was massive because I think the t-shirt is already oversized. So I've actually bought um, an extra small. The really good thing about this t-shirt is, so it's four pounds, this is made with sustainable cotton. So, um, obviously, Primark isn't always known um, for its eco-friendly clothes. However, I do think it's trying to make steps towards being better. And I try to find things there that were better. So I'm really happy about this. So this is Primark Sustainable Cotton Program. Um, so they're trying to work with farmers to produce more environmentally sustainable cotton and improve their livelihood. So I like that cotton t-shirt, a little bit more sustainable and in this season's colour. So this is quite a colour for spring. See it everywhere. 
this pistachio colour. So this has got a kind of sporty neck. It's ever so slightly, it's got like a slightly brushed cotton feel to it. It's lovely and a little turn on the sleeves. As I said, quite oversized. Gonna just wear this quite casual with jeans. Surprise, surprise, all my cream jeans. Um, yeah, just an easy to wear chuck on piece, but in a colour that I don't own and a colour that is very big for spring. The third t-shirt is a slogany. We call it a slogan or a design, a graphic design t-shirt. And that is this little one with a face on it. Love this. Now, part of the reason why I picked this up, my sister did laugh at me when we were shopping in Primark. I kind of have got a colour palette. You might remember this from when I talked about what I was buying for my autumn winter wardrobe. I'm trying to buy things that all go with each other. So I used to buy like a bright pink jumper and although I would love it, it wouldn't go with anything else. And then you're left with these sort of items that don't mix and match. And then you don't wear things and it's wasteful. So every time she saw something in Primark, she'd be like, this is in your palette because I kind of do have a slight colour palette that I'm trying to stay within. And then that just means everything gets worn. Um, so, and my colour palette is very much browns, there's a bit of pink in there, beiges and things. So, I love this t-shirt, it works really well uh, with the colour palette. This is £2.50. Now again, I've bought this in a medium. Um, I did try this on. Um, again, I bought it in a medium just so it's not skin tight. I uh, tried this on, really like the way it fit. It's a little bit oversized, but I like that slouchy look. Um, it's cotton again, and yeah. Just a good little, they had something similar to this in Monkey next door. I love Monkey, but it was way more expensive. And so I'm glad I held out because this was only £2.50. So yeah, so that was three t-shirts that I picked up. So just nice, easy to wear pieces. So the next thing that I picked up was something that I already own, but in a different colour. And they are very much a Marmite item of clothing, I think. And the only reason I bought these is because I know I wear my other ones and that is the faux leather jogger i already have them in black from new look and i wear them i do wear them a lot they're so comfy i love the fact that dog hair doesn't stick to them and they're just really casual so primark had a tan tan camel pair and again i just really like this color palette it's a little bit different obviously to my black ones it's a bit better for spring i think these would look really nice with a cream jumper or a white t-shirt and yeah and they fit really really nice um these were 15 pound i've got these in a size 10 they do have a little drawstring waist and they're just they're quite a trend lead piece um obviously they're not real leather um they're kind of like a, a plasticky leather but for the price then obviously what would you expect but i really like them the color's really nice the fit's really nice and i think these will look really nice with my dad trainers yeah, just styled up quite casual. So really happy with them. The next thing that I bought was a piece of knitwear. So I'm really glad that I tried on there. I think it is important um, to try on in Primark. Sometimes I'll go in and if it's just a t-shirt I'm buying, um, I will just buy it. I won't bother queuing up for the change rooms. But I'm glad I tried on all this stuff. There was a couple of dresses that I picked up and they just, they weren't really for me. However, I tried on this um, cardigan and I really liked it. It's just a plain ribbed cream cardigan with a bell and these sort of faux tortoiseshell buttons. Um, it is viscose, majority viscose. Uh, it was £13. This ribbing effect, it, it came up quite tight, quite fitted, and I wanted it a lot looser. Um, so I bought it in a medium, which they equate to a 12 to 14. I, would, I wouldn't say it was 12 to 14. Um, however, uh, it's because it's still quite close fitting, but I do think that's because of this ribbing effect. However, again, this fits really nice into my neutral wardrobe palette. It's really easy to put with everything. It'll go with everything. It'll go in my cream jeans, my blue jeans, my black jeans. So just a good layering piece. I don't know if I would wear it completely done up, with the belt tied, I'm not sure. I think I would probably wear it more open. But yeah, a little bit different for me. I don't have anything of this sort of three quarter length. Um, and it's got these splits as well at the sides. But yeah, really liked it, a little bit different. And um, it feels nice, fabric feels nice. So yeah, really happy with that. A couple more casual things that I bought. I live in loungewear, to be honest, um, joggers and things like that. And so I bought a couple of things just for lounging around. 
The first was, and you might have seen these already in my vlog, these haven't got the label on anymore because I took it off and I wore these to go to the spa in Birmingham at the hotel. And that's just a pair of grey joggers. They're basic grey joggers. And I will live in these at home. Again, I bought them in a medium because I like them loose. And the waist drawstring is an actual drawstring. Sometimes on joggers, the drawstring can be a fake drawstring and then you buy them really big and they're way too big. I always check that it's a proper drawstring. So I do have to tie these in quite tight to wear them, but then I like how loose they are. These were these were five pound, I believe. Uh, and yeah, they fit really, really nice. Really nice fabric, really comfy, just great for lounging around in. And the other thing that I picked up, which is also for slightly casual wear, is this kind of half zip. Uh, I don't think you call it a hoodie because it's not got a hoodie half zip sweat and it's in this raspberry colour this is ever so slightly in my palette but not 100% but it does go like with cream and beige and whatnot so quite happy with it um very casual this this is probably just for like dog walking and pop into the shops and things like that um but it's just easy to chuck on could also wear it to the gym over my gym stuff um this was this was £10 um, and yeah it's got this kind of textured feel to it. I bought it in a medium again so it's oversized but I love this raspberry colour. Kind of goes nice with my rose gold hair but yeah again it hasn't got its tags on because I actually already wore this to go to the spa in Birmingham so you might have spotted it in my last vlog. Then sort of on the same tact as uh, loungewear I bought some pyjamas. Um, I love nice pyjamas, I always think it's nice to sleep in something that's a little bit better. I do have like scruffy pyjamas that are like just t-shirts and shorts and jogging bottoms and that kind of thing. But sometimes it's nice to get yourself some nice pyjamas. So I got these, so this is a little cami vest and trouser set with a little drawstring waist. I tried these on because um, I wanted to make sure that this top wasn't too massive. Normally I would like to buy them maybe separately and buy the bottoms really big but buy the top quite small because I'm quite petite on top but these do come as a set so you don't really have that option um, so I have bought a small so that the top fit but actually the trousers they're nice they're not too um, they're not too tight fitting um, they're nice and comfy and I love this kind of like leopardy print but in a brown colour again it's in my palette not that it matters because I'll be in bed but I do quite like uh, the fact it's still in my palette and yeah they're kind of like a silky fabric so this was £12 for the set um, and yeah it fits really nice and I just think they're really pretty they're a little bit you know different for bed um, I do quite like this silky fabric I find it quite cool um, when you get into summer so really happy with them and actually um, that Primark in Birmingham at first I thought they didn't have my size but actually a few of the items they have them sort of repeated so you might not find it in your size somewhere but if you check in other areas of the store they actually have some of the same items repeated so I actually found these in my size somewhere else and was very very excited so <laughs> then I bought something in the sale at Primark because you know I do love a bargain and that was a pair of trainers uh, like a, a fake converse as it were um, in a really really nice beige colour in my palette of colours um, but yeah these are a size 7 um, and they fit really really nice and they're just yeah a nice casual easy to wear shoe nice colour for spring um, these were three pound in the sale I literally couldn't leave them behind for three pounds and I wear shoes like this quite a lot but I don't have any that are more of the high top all of mine are the lower trainers so yeah for three quid I thought they'll go really nice for my cream jeans um, and loads of the other pieces that I've picked out from Primark so I'm really happy with them proper little bargain I bought a couple of bags uh, from Primark now I hadn't intended on buying two because I do own a lot of handbags but there was one that I definitely wanted to find and that was um, a bag which is kind of like very on trend at the moment which is this nylon style bag, black nylon, very sort of utility, very practical and I often when I go to London, uh, especially if I'm shooting photos for somebody I'm going to have my camera on me and my wallet and my charger and maybe other lenses <clears throat> And I'd seen a bag similar in and other stories and it was £65 and I just thought 
it's such a trend piece at the moment will it still be something that I like in six months time so therefore do I want to spend 65 pound on it so I thought that I would try the Primark one instead so I hunted in the Birmingham Primark for this bag and they did have it and it is this uh, kind of like a messenger style it's got a wide webbing um, strap which you can change the length of it so it can go up crossbody or you can wear it just on the shoulder it's got a big pocket at the front with a zip and then yeah just a main body bag it's it's nice it's got nice depth to it as you can see so yeah my camera will fit in the bottom of here and yeah it'll just be a good practical bag for just general day-to-day this was six pound so it's like I know it's not going to be maybe made to as good quality as the end of the stories one you know maybe the webbing strap might not be as strong but I mean I'm not going to be putting bricks in it and I just think for something that is very trend driven this is a much better buy for me um, than one that was a lot more expensive so yeah I'm really happy to have found this and I definitely think this is going to get a lot of use out of it because I just I like a bag that stuff fits in but I'm not a big bag person I do still like small crossbody bags so this is great and then I had seen another bag and I said to my sister oh god that's lovely and I thought oh do I need another bag and I thought no and actually we left the store and then I changed my mind and I actually went back and queued up again and bought it because I just thought sometimes you see things in Primark and if you don't get them, you won't ever see it again. It might not come into my local store. So I just bought it. And it is this bag. And it obviously does fit into my colour scheme. I'm very into brown and tan at the moment. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram uh, and on my other channels, you'll know that I've got a pair of brown boots in the winter. And I've worn them so much. And, I've, and a brown bag, which is a darker brown than this. I've used loads. I love this because it's kind of one of those bucket bag styles and I do like that shape but I love the fact it's a little bit more ready for spring with this sort of canvas. It's got this mock croc effect, it's got a um, long strap and a little top handle strap so I can wear it crossbody um, if I want and also I can carry it by the top handle. And I just think it's really cute. It's got a little drawstring inside, canvas drawstring, so you can um, tighten that up and sort of protect your belongings. And it was £10. And I just thought, I have to go back for it. And yeah, I love it. I think it's really, really cute. So I'm really happy I went back for it. Um, as I said, I think sometimes at Primark, if you don't snap it up the first time you see it, you might not see it again. So yeah, so I got that. So that's all my big stuff. Then I picked up quite a lot of um, small bits and some jewellery as well. So the first thing I got was a new phone case. Now, <laughs> sounds like a really boring um, thing to buy, but my phone case is a little bit battered and I am a massive Harry Potter fan. If you watch my vlog, you'll have seen me in the Harry Potter section of Primark in Birmingham. As I said, it wasn't as big as the Harry Potter section in Tottenham Court Road in London, which is just brilliant, but I did find myself a new phone case, which I'm really excited about because I have the iPhone X and uh, you can never find cases for it. There's always like really cool designs and then it's only for the 7 and the 8 or the Plus and anyway, so I was really excited to see that actually Primark had their cases and then they had them in every single type of iPhone. So I bought myself a Harry Potter phone case and I'm not ashamed of that uh, I think it's lovely it's gold and marble which who doesn't like gold and marble and it also has one of the rings on the back and I have started to get a little bit sore finger from hooking my finger around the back trying to hold on to my phone and I used to have one of these rings on my phone and they were really helpful for sliding your finger in and holding onto your phone see I'm quite excited by that three pounds Harry Potter it's got Hogwarts on it it's gold and marble. I mean, literally, what more would you want from a phone case? So I can't wait to put that on my phone. I've actually wanted to put it on before now, but I wanted to film the video and show you it. And alongside that, another slightly boring but essential item for all of us iPhone users. Primark has a whole technology section in the Birmingham store, which is really cool. Headphones and things like that. And I picked up one of those tempered glass screen protectors. I had one on, normally I buy mine on eBay, and I had one on and it had um, got smashed and I just haven't got around to buying one on eBay. And to be honest, the ones that Primark are two quid and I think that's pretty much what I spend on mine on eBay. 
so yeah, uh, happy with that. So I'm going to put those two things on my phone later today, actually, so I can start <laughs> start using them. The other thing that I buy a lot from Primark, and again, you'll have seen it in my vlog of my visit there, is fake nails. So I am a big nail biter. I've, I've bitten my nails for years, um, and it's just, yeah, a habit that I can't uh, sadly quit. And the only way to stop me is to wear fake nails. So I buy Primark's fakes and I buy a different glue uh, and I actually wear a pair a week. So when you see my nails, they are literally always fake. I file them down quite a lot so they're not too long. Um, but yeah, and that stops me back my nails and even though the glue is damaging, you know, my natural nails underneath, I would damage them more than that by biting them. So it's kind of six of one, half a dozen of the other. But Birmingham Primark had the biggest section of fake nails. And actually I had to slightly um, hold back from buying too many. Um, so I did only buy a couple of styles. I was quite reserved. And I mostly bought styles which I haven't seen before. And the first is, and I bought two of these and I've actually already worn a pair, uh, a set of these. So I've only got one box left. I kind of wish I bought more, but never mind. And that is tortoiseshell nails. I love tortoiseshell. I'm so into tortoiseshell. I'm always looking for tortoiseshell things in charity shops and stuff. Uh, and these are tortoiseshell effect fake nails with a little gold uh, stripe on them. And they look so nice when they're on. Um, sadly, I haven't got them on at the moment, so I can't show you. Um, but yeah, they do look so no so nice on. Um, £1.50. Again, I wish I'd bought a couple of packets of these, but never mind. Um, hopefully, I'll find these in one of the London stores. And then I also bought, and I think I might put these on my birthday. It's my birthday in March. Um, these are quite jazzy, <laughs> leopard print and gold and pink, but I just think they are so cute. Uh, two pounds for these, because these are a little bit jazzier. Um, and yeah, I just, I love Primark fake nails. These also are really, really good length. These aren't too long and talony, so actually with these styles, all I do is just give them um, the top just a little file down just to smooth it off. And then also what I tend to do, which is a bit of a top tip, especially with something like the tortoiseshell ones, is I put a clear lacquer on top because often the design just rubs away um, after wearing them. So that just keeps the design there for a little bit longer. But yeah, I bought those two. And then yeah, I did pick up some jewellery bits even though I own more jewellery than the entire Birmingham Primark, like in total. Um, but there was a couple of pieces that I thought were well, quite nice and they'll layer up nice with things that I've already got. So the first was this little necklace set and I just love this green colour. I think um, it's really pretty for spring and summer. I don't have anything else like it. And I love this little set for £3. It's got a little, um, a couple of little chokers with some kind of disc details on there as well. And yeah, I just thought really, really nice, really pretty will work with within my palette um and yeah i thought they were really really cute so again i've wanted to wear these and then didn't want to take them off the card They're noisy aren't they didn't want to take them off the card before i filmed the video so i'm excited to get some wear out of these and then i bought some earrings now one of the sets of earrings was in the sale and you're going to think me an absolute nutter because there's actually earrings missing off it but they were a pound these earrings and i bought them mainly for this one pair at the end. They are a chunky hoop and I just loved the shape of them. And I thought for a pound, I'm having them. I don't even care that these others missing further along. Um, so yeah, I bought them literally for that one pair of chunky hoops. Um, I would maybe wear the second hoops along that have got a little bit of texture to them. But yeah, mostly just for those chunky hoops there. I do wear a lot of um, hoops and I've got quite a few holes in my ears. I've been wearing huggies a lot but I also do on occasion like an, a, a normal earring that's not a huggy that's a little bit bigger. So I did also pick up these which weren't in the sale, these were full price. These are £1.50 little pearl hoops. Yeah, I actually wore these uh, out for dinner and they look really really nice, they're really cute. Um, I like the little sort of pearl detail on them. I'm massively into pearls earrings wise and I do have a few pairs that I've got pearls on but these are a little bit different than anything else I've got and they look really really nice on. So yeah, really happy with them. And that's everything I bought from Primark. So I hope you enjoyed having a little bit of nosy at my purchases and my, I don't want to call it a haul um, because I think, I, I wouldn't really call it a haul, would you? Wasn't, I don't think there's enough there for a haul, but 
yeah I thought you would be interested in seeing what I purchased from the world's biggest Primark if you haven't been definitely definitely go it is well worth a visit and definitely go to the Disney cafe I'm sad that we didn't go to the Disney cafe and have um, Mickey Mouse shaped waffles that literally would have just made my day but I'm gluten free so I can't um, but yeah I hope you enjoyed the video give it a big thumbs up if you did and of course do subscribe and I will see you again next time bye